Alright guys, so uh, welcome back to my channel. Hey, this video is going to sound a little odd because I was actually making it for a client, but I figured, you know what, I want to put it up on YouTube because it's easier for him to watch and maybe it'll help you guys out. So uh, if, you, if it sounds like I'm talking to a singular person, it's because I actually made it for a client. But uh, what, it, well, what it's about is basically if you want to, on the tracks that either we make you or maybe you, you've bought them from someplace else and put them into Ableton, your backing tracks, but you want to actually record your own backup vocals or maybe your own guitar part or maybe your own keyboard part and you want to, and maybe you have multiple people wanting to do it at the same time, like say you have two guitar players like this gentleman has and two singers at the same time and they just want to record it live along with their tracks and then actually be able to put those back in their tracks and use them. Uh, that's what this tutorial is, do, is. It's basically showing you how to record your own tracks, multiple tracks at the same time, along with your set, and then be able to use them again as additional backing tracks. So um, it's going to sound a little strange because while I was recording that, I was actually had uh, my mic on to show uh, the recording in and out, and so it has a little bit of a delay. So please excuse that, but let you know right off the that what's going to happen but anyhow it, hopefully if this if this video helps you guys out on youtube you know let me know put some put some comments in the description i mean in <laughs> leave some comments and uh also you know like comment subscribe share ring the little bell for more notifications and if you have if you're having trouble with something with ableton or you know uh, some video editing software or whatever uh let me know and i'll see if i can make a tutorial about that so anyway we're gonna start this video that i just made for him with a little bit of weird echo because I had my lab and the mic on so just get hope that works for you um, started right now all right so this is a quick tutorial to show you uh, about our discussion on recording um, your four tracks you know you're, you're basically your two guitar tracks your two vocal tracks now on this side you know after you add them over here okay after I, a bunch of research because I never record on this side but after you add them, uh, you can actually only record one track at a time, really, and have them sync up. Because what you do is, um, if these are in enabled record, you basically hold this down. If you want to record this song, you hold this down, and now it starts laying a track in there. And if you go down, and you can do it on all four of them, but they're all going to stop start at different times. So when you go to play them back, they're not going to line up with the actual track. Um, that you're recording to. So uh, one is fine, four will not work on this side. Um, what you, so what you need to do is basically like I, how I showed you on your other video, how to uh, rehearse with the tracks and then um, and you know skip around. Basically what you do is go over this side, make sure nothing on this side. You can do that by hitting the tab key on your keyboard. Um, Click on the um, count in. First off, play the song. That way it changes your tempo to the right tempo. So just play it. I have my click off so you can't hear it. But um, anyhow, play the song so the tempo's right. Then click on your count in. Click on the last audio sample that's in there. And that way, and hold down shift. So you count in, hold down shift. Click on the last audio track. That way it highlights all of them. Go back over to the count in, hold your mouse down, hit the tab key, it'll drag it over to this side, and then drop this, the fur, your mouse back on the count in track, because that's the track you grabbed. Line it up somewhere on the grid and drop it. Doesn't matter if it lines up perfectly, but you know you can get OCD about it and move it up to the part of the grid. And how you do that is go up to this top arrow where you see the hourglass, hold your mouse down and slide up or pull down, it makes this bigger or smaller. Then you want to activate this side of Ableton. There you go. And then scroll down to your guitar tracks. If they're not record enabled, just click on the first one, make it record enabled, then hit hold down command on your keyboard on, and then hit the other one and it'll record enable all of them. If you don't hold down command, it's basically going to turn on one. It'll turn off that one and turn on the next one, turn off that one, turn on the next one, and so on and so forth. So just after you click on one, just hit command and hold down the rest of them. Then all you got to do from here is just click on the front of the track. Um, that way it Ableton knows where to start, so it'll line these up perfectly on one. And that is very important that when you move these back over to the other side, that they all line up on one. 
Now just to refresh, remember on this screen you can practice and, and skip around by just going up the top and moving this to where it becomes that little uh, audio or, or speaker and click. You know, or you can just click in a line and hit uh, play. Or you can highlight a section, say you want to highlight this section right here and right click and maybe loop that section. And this is how you turn the loop on and off. All right. So anyhow, while you're on this section, so you want to record your audio track, so just click on the last clip. That way it just tells Ableton the length you want to record. Make sure these are all enabled and then hit the record button. And then it'll start up. It's playing the click right now. So now if I go, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no. Anyhow, so I'm just messing around, but you can see it's on beat. But you can stop it wherever you want. As long as this is on the one, it's going to line up on the other side. As long as the, set, it's, the starting point is the same as this clip. But then you can record it as long as you want. If you do go longer recording, I would just trim it off. And how you do that is basically just go up to the clip. Say if this is your clip, you'll see that little backwards um, staple. You hold in the middle of the clip, you'll find you'll see it. And then just hold down and drag it, and then or else you can just highlight it and you know drag it. So if, say if this if the clip re you recorded is like that much longer, just you know highlight the section. And just because when you play live, you want to make sure that these these pretty much line up. You don't have to, but it before that song quits, it'll be that long. But I'm gonna undo undo. Anyhow, um, so but if you they they have to start at the same at the at the very same as this first clip. See how this all starts on the one? So you want to make sure that's what I why I just click on that on the top clip, hit record, it'll line up perfectly. Then all you have to do is basically you can record these as long as you want and highlight guitar one, go down to the last guitar, hold shift and click. And that way it highlights all these. Go back up to guitar one and just hold your mouse down on the top frame, hit the tab button, it'll flip you back over and drop them right back in. Make sure on the right song and on those tracks. And now if I click, you're going to hear me. All right. And then after you got them, you know, in there, you just go back over to tab and activate this side and delete all this stuff so you can pull another song over. But that's how you would have to do multiple tracks for practicing or, and then also you can keep your backup vocals. So if you record and you want to keep your backup vocals on there, you can keep your backup vocal tracks, you know, and just mute. So say, okay, I'm going to mute these because I don't need that guitar track for live and I don't need that guitar track for live, but I still want to keep my backup vocals. You know, you can keep them in your set and have your own backup vocals singing to yourself. All right. Hope that helps, man. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching this. Hopefully it helped you out. Um, like I said before, if you have any other uh, tutorials you need, just leave a comment. Let me know something you need help with. Uh, I'll get to it. I can. Um, if you get a chance, go over and check out my band's channel, which is youtube.com forward slash FOJCTV. We have a lot of cool stuff going on over there. And please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the notifications. We will see you next time. Thanks a lot.